Yo, thank y'all for 20,000 subscribers. Stick around. I'm going to go way into detail of kind of the review of this year. I want to send a shout out to my boy Six, aka Javon the producer, for letting me get this beat. And other than that, let me kind of get in my zone real quick so we can do this freestyle real fast. <clears throat> Yo, 20,000 strong with 20,000 D. I'm going to take y'all back to the beginning of this year. Yo, January 1st, 2016, waking up at 5 in the morning, chasing this dream. Only got a couple hours in this off the work. Cause my lady got our baby coming February 1st. She was stubborn, so we came on the second. Now my life's changed. Want to chase my dream, but don't know if that's the right thing. If you on the team, that means you suck the Flinlow rats. I want to tell you thanks is what I y'all who know what Flinlow's at. Please don't get it twisted. I was making decent money. Wasn't using all my talents, though. God had took from me now i finally found a way i can create and make a living so i'm just trying to get in where i fit in make room for a Fleming, boy doing for a Fleming was working the nine to five i dropped out of college they thought i would be flipping fries but i epitomized the true american dream i hated my fucking life so i changed it look at me i'm making half of the money i used to make back in sales but i'm happy as hell not waking up at someone nails some flim low all day every day feels great let in my hair grow out some of my shit still great i don't give a fuck what them haters over there say it's like every video i'm dropping but you hear thanks i'm just doing me and now i created my own lane wrong way down the one way 20k 20 thousand strong with 20 thousand deep can't believe it many people fuck with me 20 thousand strong with 20 thousand deep can't believe it many people fuck with me yeah What's good, man? My name is Flim Long Raps. Wanted to drop this video real quick just saying, man, thank y'all. Uh, 2016, crazy, crazy year for us, bro. I'm going to illustrate that a little bit throughout the course of this video. We're going to take a peek at some of the older videos from earlier this year. But before we do that, like I said, I just wanted to say thank y'all, man. As you can see, we got the social blade right here. And just to kind of put it in perspective for a lot of people, bro, my goal for this year was to hit 5,000 subscribers on YouTube. So to quadruple that is pretty crazy. I want to send a lot of thanks out there, bro. With that being said, I'll say it was a ton of hard fucking work. Uh, beginning of the year, I was still working full time. I, I was still working full time until uh, I think September 29th. So damn near the whole year until the last three months, basically October, November, December, I was full time. But before that, I was working right so i was getting up every morning that's why i'm so used to getting up early i was getting up at 5 a.m then it would take me forever just to make one damn video because i sucked back then i was very slow i was learning how to use adobe premiere you know to just self-taught like you gotta learn how to use that shit i didn't go to school to use adobe premiere but you know you get back a whole lot of weight stop what i'm doing go look up a youtube video how to do this no that didn't explain it let's watch another one that didn't explain it. let's watch another one there it is okay cool <laughs> so that was that I, um, I was working 60 hours a week and I work commission like I always work commission sales so it's not like I could show up and get paid I had to perform in order to make money or I wouldn't make shit and a lot of times I was tired as fuck but I knew what I wanted to focus on and what I ultimately wanted to get and what I was trying to get to second month of the year my son is born life changes again so now not only are we getting up early and having to work all day but we ain't getting no sleep at night because, you know, he was a newborn at the time and he wasn't sleeping through the night, sleep like two hours at a time. He still wakes up, as a matter of fact, like, when is he still gonna start sleeping through the night? He does it sometime, you just, you just never know. You never know what you're gonna get, right? So we grinded through that. Then, probably the biggest hurdle was, you know, I wasn't working my off days. In sales, like I never worked my off days at my first sales job. We're gonna talk about that a little bit in a second. I got something I'm gonna show y'all. I wouldn't work my off days, man. Why? Because that was the day I recorded all my content. I was off on Thursdays and Sunday because we were closed on Sunday. So Thursday and Sunday. So on those two days, I record four videos on Thursday and I record, well, fuck. I record four videos on, on Thursday and edit one because I had to upload that day. After I went to seven days, I wake up Friday, edit one video, upload it. Wake up Saturday, edit one video, upload it, go to work. Sunday, I was off. Wake up, edit one video, upload it, then shoot three more videos. And I use those three videos I'd edit on Monday, upload, Tuesday, upload, Wednesday, upload, then Thursday again, 
I'm recording for and then one putting it up. Doing all that in a few hours before I go to work. Work all day, come home, tend to the family, you know. Me and my girl trying to get used to having a brand new baby. It was a struggle, man. It was a grind. So I'm looking back on it right now, kind of reliving it. I want to commemorate this. I never want to forget this type of stuff. And the reason I do that a lot is because as things get better, like even now I got a challenge. But when I think about where I came from and how it was, like just short as eight months ago, shit, five months ago, four, four months ago, my life was dramatically more difficult than it is today. So I think that really helps perspective. And I always want to keep that, man, as I get more and more success, I don't never want to forget how difficult it was. That way, if I could keep that forever, and in 10 years, I'm not complaining over dumb shit like, oh, I got a scratch on my boat, woe is me, and you know, shit like that. Anyway, bro, we grinded, we grinded, we grinded, we finally hit 5,000 and let's see, let's see. Here we go. We hit 5,000 um, September the 6th. And it's got smacked with copyright. <laughs> Because I, I did the uh, So Gone Challenge. But this is different. This is just a content ID. This isn't the same as the copyright strike. This, the video stays up and everything. They just take the money from it. Which I didn't make any money on this video anyway, so who cares? Yo, notice something. I said I was 12 a.m., 12 a.m., 12. I used to upload at midnight. Y'all remember that? <laughs> that was the strategy behind that. Maybe I'll go into that one day for newer, for like newer YouTubers, but that was a definite strategy behind that. So yeah, man, we hit 5,000 in September, and then in October, I hit 10,000. This is over a year later. You know what I mean? And I never took a break. Or nothing i started out uploading three videos a week never missed it moves up to four moves up to five then i jumped straight to seven at the beginning of 2016 somewhere at the beginning of this year never missed hit 5,000 over a year later so there's no overnight success it's nothing like that i think that's why we do kind of click the way we do is because a lot of y'all was with me and y'all saw the grind y'all grinded right with me bro and i appreciate it man y'all was here way back then when i had very few subs i was getting very few views and i did a lot of shit like i would see videos like i would drop a video i knew wasn't gonna get no views right then but i knew that eventually like, well, maybe I'll drop a video around a certain game or something. But I knew once that game actually dropped, that that video would get a lot of views and that'll bring traffic into my channel. By the time that traffic came, fuck it, I'm gonna give y'all this one. So I did that Madden Sucks video that I did way back for a couple reasons. Number one, yeah, I did think Madden had, I did think Madden sucked, but I hadn't played Madden in like two years, bro. The gameplay in that video, I did after the commentary, not by the way. Like I did all the whole commentary of just memory from what I remembered of the game. Fortunately for me, they hadn't changed very much, you know, even in those few years. The gameplay you saw in that video was from Madden 15 because it was free on EA Access at the time. And you can get EA Access for $5 you know, for one month. I knew that way back then. So I went on, I got EA Access for five bucks so I can get some gameplay from my video. I dropped that video well before Madden 16 even came out. And then when 16 came out, that video blew up. That started giving me my first traffic. But by that time, I knew it was coming. So by that time, I had uploaded another, you know, 20, 30 videos of what I wanted my channel to be. That way when people came in, you know, obviously not all of them, but a certain percentage of those people might peek around the channel. They might like what they see, they might subscribe. And I got a lot of subscribers off of that video early on. But it turned out I didn't even hate Madden 16. Like the, the shit that I was saying sucked was everything before that. Madden 16 was fucked up because of aggressive catch. But I saw that the game was improving, which is why I gave Madden 17 a decent review. Cause I don't I don't think it's a bad game. There's a lot of stuff that should be in there like far as the career modes and shit that would make me like it a lot more. But overall I don't think the core of the game is broken. Anyway I digress. That's just some game for y'all man. Like that's the way I was thinking and I'm still thinking and I've always been thinking but yeah man so we doubled up we hit 10,000 in October uh November we hit 15,000 here we are in December on the last day we hit 20,000 subscribers so we've been getting about 5,000 subs every month after it took me over a year to get my first 5,000 since then I've been getting 5,000 per month can I keep that up I'm gonna definitely try 
I'm gonna definitely try and not only try to keep it up, I'll try to accelerate it because that's just how I'm built, bro. So by the end of this year, I'm gonna be trying to get 10 to 15,000 a month. And I know that sounds crazy, but it sounded crazy when I said I was gonna have 5,000 by the end of this year. You know what I'm saying? And because when I said that, I had 500, you know? And I knew I was gonna put the work in. That's, that's the main thing, not just blindly saying some shit, but understanding, having a plan and knowing that every day you're gonna grind it out regardless. Sick. Remember I had the tooth issue, we grinded that out, bro, and that shit was fucking me up. Ooh, that shit. Like, I could barely talk. The only time I would talk during the entire day, during that whole process, was when I was doing that little video. And I was, huh. Whoa, oh, that's good. <laughs> Fall through it, man. Y'all dealt with that. I know that might have, those videos might not have been the best, but they got a lot of likes, man. They didn't get a lot of hate, so I appreciate y'all for fucking with me. But anyways, man, we uh we ended up quadrupling our goal for this year. Uh, for 2017, my goal is going to be 100,000 subscribers, and I plan to put every ounce of the work in. Oh, and just real quick, I might do another day in the life soon because literally the next week after i dropped my day in the life the one that i put up on the channel um life changed again we had to take my son out of daycare really just because it's super fucking expensive and until i get my bread up a little bit more it's super fucking expensive so i figured you know let's get him out of there for a couple weeks and then that couple weeks is probably gonna turn to like a month and a half and then hopefully he'll go back in february but during that time guess who works from home so i'm keeping him every day all day i'm dad and trying to be full-time youtuber it's an experience <laughs> but it's necessary you know what i'm saying because as a man it's my job to provide and protect the family and so when a decision like that needs to be made in order to put us to make us a little bit more comfortable comfortable financially based on a decision that i made to quit I gotta step up to the plate, do what I gotta do, man. We have a fucking ton of fun together anyway. If you're not following me on Snapchat, follow me on Snapchat. We, I snap up some stuff with me and my son pretty much all day. And so what I've been doing, getting up at between three and four, I can't get up at three every day. <laughs> I can do four pretty consistently, but sometimes I try to get up closer to three because that gives me just more time. And I'm coming in here on a few hours of sleep and recording all three of my videos that's gotta go up now because we can't fucking stream so I gotta do three videos, thanks YouTube. Then I move my old laptop into the living room because I need to be able to watch him. Like we got the gates in there so he can't, you know, he's, he can move around as a bunch of space but he can't get into no shit, you know what I'm saying? He can move around plays, got his toys all over the place. So basketball goal so he's having fun and constantly distracting me as i stop working to jump on the floor and dunk on him real quick <laughs> so we're doing that man using that freaking laptop it sucks so bad i hate using it but one positive it's mobile so i can put it in there and i can edit taking fucking all day so i'm having to get up earlier to record and i'm not getting to go to the gym as much i'm not happy about it but it is what it is short-term sacrifice for the long-term success and you know it's good for us to spend that time together any fucking way so goals for 2017 2017 i'm gonna hit 100,000 subscribers if i got anything to say about it anything to say about it at all i will hit 100,000 subscribers in 2017 that is my goal i'm going after full force but i do want to take a moment to uh I want a, a brief, not even a celebration, but I want to acknowledge the fact that I achieved what was my, the biggest goal. Well, one of the biggest goals I put out there was to go full time on YouTube. And I did that a few months ago. So life has been pretty amazing since then. I, I know myself and I know how I'm built. It's not for everybody, bro. Trust me, it ain't for everybody. And if you're still watching at this point, man, I want y'all to hit me up in the comments and let me know. What are your goals for 2017? Brief synopsis on how you plan to get there. You gotta go into full detail, but I, I mean, I just want y'all to be in the habit of stating those goals, man, putting them out there and having a plan of how you gonna go get it. And then after that, the most important thing is sticking to your plan, executing that shit as best as you can every single day. You know what I mean? You're trying to build this big ass wall. You gotta lay each fucking brick, in my case, which is each video as perfectly as I can lay that motherfucker. And then once it's laid, if that bitch was a little crooked, I learned from, okay, where'd I fuck up there? Okay, if I wouldn't have did it like this, it wouldn't have been crooked like that. So in the next one, I try to apply that. I ain't got time to go back trying to, hey, that bitch is there now. 
But when I go into it, I'm trying to make the best fucking brick <laughs> video I could possibly make. And then once it's done, it's done. And you're moving. And somebody will say, man, that brick over there is so fucking amazing. I'm like, man, thank you. I appreciate it. But I'm laying this brick right now. So, you know what I mean? Does that make sense? Or does that shit sound fucking insane? I don't know. Hopefully that made sense to you, bro. If it did, think about that, man. Adopt that fucking religion and that shit will take you a long way. Anyway, man, just wanted to sit down and talk to y'all. Tell y'all thank y'all for 20K. Other than that, I'm gonna holler at you next time. My name is Fun Little Raps. Wow.